from a global perspective, Key West and Andros Island in the Bahamas aren't just in the same neighborhood. They're in the same cul-de-sac. While 236 miles separate them, these three anglers have essentially stalked the same flat their whole lives. Two different worlds fishing together all along. Who, oh, darling? I love it. <laughs> Travis, I love the stoke, buddy. <laughs> Looking low. Hey, go chap, buddy, old pal. This is like the hidden gem. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful little form right there, baby. Got it. Here we go. Put me in. <laughs> yeah! I've fished over in Abaco for about six to seven years, and the fishery in Abaco was pretty amazing. You know, I've had the luxury of just like checking it out, and I've basically got into some of the permits over there and figuring them out, and it's been a great ride. No matter where you travel, whether it's to Key West, Belize, Bahamas, you know, we're targeting all the same species, but every part of the world targets them slightly different based on their areas, but they're all the same fish and basically the same flats. Yes, and that's what they say, one ocean. One ocean, one flat. Two distinct strategies for how these guides approach the Grand Slam species, bonefish, tarpon, and permit. Key West captains and brothers, Jared and Brandon Sear, are our hosts. Their guest, the Bahamian Fireball, the exemplar of exuberance, Captain Travis Sands. In this adventure, they fish shoulder to shoulder in Key West, a seven square mile island that much like the Bahamas, is home to some of the best flats fishing in the world. Real hard to see, but you'll see their back, the whole group of them. Yep. Got him. Drop it on your next one. All right. Strip. They, uh, they might have went, they yeah, went they left on you. Yeah. I didn't say nothing right off of the bat fishing with these guys because I know they're both like real fishy guys and like world renowned. So I just was like watching and just taking every instruction I can. It's fun to get somebody on the bow that already knows what to do, has that same guide instinct that we have. You start to build this communication where you don't have to talk to each other anymore. That's it. Strip, 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 strip. Here comes strip. Yeah! <laughs> nice, buddy, nice. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, my friend. Oh, thank you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Gregos. Want to get in the water with him? Yeah, I love that. Woo! He's a nice fish. That's a nice fish! <laughs> oh, look at that! Look Dude, at look that. at that chunker. Look at that snap! <laughs> That's a beautiful creature right there. He just looked beastly. There you go, beautiful. It's 
it's okay. Do what you want to do. <laughs> Stay with us. There are more ghosts to bust. Quiet feet win the day. While a trail of sand and silt is inevitable, waiting requires the utmost patience. Back home, the sand flats and gin clear waters of the Bahamas provide Travis all the visibility he needs. But in the Keys, he's entering a new arena, grass bars. I never fish grass bars back home. I always kind of like avoid them because they're hard to see fish in and the stripping is not nice in there. But fishing here in the Keys with the brothers, they taught me a new skill where you get that fly like right in front of their face so they can see it in that grass. And a feed here is way more aggressive than it is back home and you gotta lead them. But here you can basically plop that fly right in the front of them and then they're on that. Good job. Woo! Good job, Travis. <laughs> Got some seaweed on his face. Yeah. Kind of making him a little shy. Oh! Not oh, anymore. Darling. There. <laughs> Get one look look at this face and they change their mind. Oh uh, hello, Mr. Grey Ghost. <laughs> a nice ball in the kids, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, my friend. <laughs> oh, thank you, chap. Walk the dog. Oh, walking the dog. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a great dog. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Look. Ah, oh, I love the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll take it. Come here, buddy. I promise I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, we took a little lunch break and stopped, and uh, we were eating, as, and as we were sitting there eating, we had a group of fish push up on us. I decided to hop out with a spinning rod and see if we could get one, and yeah, there's super happy fish in here. Tailing, pushing wakes. Fall fishery down here is absolutely incredible. Big fish, I'll take it. Bye, little buddy. Go ahead, Travis. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Baby, looky loo. <laughs> uh, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Jack. I enjoy this kind of fish. Strong, healthy, beautiful colors. I dig it. Beautiful. That's a beautiful release. Healthy. Oh, nice. <laughs> Welcome to the Keys, man. I'm loving the Keys. Woo! Look, here, come, here comes another school back here. Oh, my man, back into action.
In the fall, Florida Keys tarpon require searching, changing spots, searching again, changing spots again. Lucky for Travis, Jared and Brandon know these waters well, from skinny to deep and back again. Mangroves, the unofficial tree of Key West. They filter water, provide habitat for many species of birds, fish, and shellfish, and help stabilize the flats against hurricanes and storm surges. On a day like today, they are gateways to secret honey holes. I think this is like the hidden gem it's like Indiana Jones. <laughs> can you hear that? If you can, you're doing something wrong. That's peace and quiet. That's September in Key West. It's early September and typically this time of year is considered the slow season in Key West. All the kids have gone back to school. There's not a lot of guides out on the water. Everybody's kind of gone back home. But for us, this is one of my favorite times of the year. It's typically really hot, flat, calm, it is one of the most fantastic opportunities just to be out in the water down here in Key West. There he is. There he is. <laughs> nice. Oh, such a cute little guy. Oh, look at him jump. <laughs> Nice no. one, Travis. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Thank you for lining me up, man. <laughs> Putting me right in the right spot, and bada bing, bada bang. Nice. <laughs> hey, one pound tarpon, 100 pound tarpon, I love them all the same. They're all, they're all fun. Yep. <laughs> thank huh? you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> While the spring migration gets most of the attention, the fall presents opportunities to target resident tarpon. But you got to be ready to go farther, dig deeper. Thus, the mangrove car wash. It's kind of like the uh, going to. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Pretty cool. All those little fish were packed right in that tiny little corner, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, man, it's like little 50 of them. Oh my God, it's like, crazy how aggressive they are. I got about two nice eat, you know, yeah. until I got onto this guy. <laughs> and you could see him, that's a good thing about it. That's right. You know? <laughs> I love tarpon fishing. <laughs> Beautiful. It's like prehistoric fighting a dinosaur, right? Yeah. The jumps, everything about them. <laughs> That's amazing, Brandon. Just look at the color on that. Pretty incredible species. That is right. amazing. 
There you go, buddy. Got a nice little saltwater bath. Oh, uh, hell yeah. That's awesome, man. I'm ready to do it again. Let's do it again. Gray ghosts and silver kings? Check. Done. Moving on to their antisocial, uncooperative roommate. There is no game fish less caught than a permit. Solitary, skittish, entirely unimpressed by your years of practice and patience. Novice anglers, be forewarned. You'd have better luck landing a Sasquatch riding a unicorn. If you're pushing your chips in on one destination, bet on Key West. It's the most reliable place on earth to catch a permit. It's an ultimate fish because you can never master them. You know, there's always just what seems to be the never ending chess game. These fish here are normally, it's one of the reasons why I like fishing here, they're normally super dark because you know, they're over the grass all the time. Or whenever it gets dirty like this, they match the water color. It's crazy. Exactly, and I could see that. You know, like same thing with bonefish. They'll be swimming over, and you basically watch a bonefish like change because they come off of grass and they just end up onto a white flat, and you watch their color just. Okay, I got like, fish right here at three o'clock coming towards us. How far? See the mud right here? Cast 30 feet right here, big school. Stop it right there. Okay, reel up. That's way past 30 feet. Reel it up. Rot to pie, rot to pie, rot to pie. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Stop. Real, real, he's on. Oh! Real, 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 real. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was so oh awesome, man. That fish saw that crab coming across the surface. Full oh on charge. Dude, See how as soon as that crab shot like, the bottom, he head stared like exactly. as hard as he could on it. He acted like a jack. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, beautiful, man. They have the devil himself. Oh, oh devil you. The devil himself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mom, I can't stop my mouth when you want I it. I love it, buddy. <laughs> you know, it's funny, when I uh, talked to a few buddies before, you know, who have fished with you in the past, and I was like, so what do you think of Travis? He's like, he goes, man, you'll never fish with anybody that just fills you with life more than Travis. <laughs> yep, 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 and as soon as she rolls. One on fly and one on spinner. I did that. I did. I did, I did. Look at that. Yeah. Welcome to the Keys, buddy. Oh, no. oh. oh. That's him. Bring it in, brother. Bring it in. Oh, my goodness. Is feeling good now. Dude, this is my happy place. I could have the worst day in the world. We come here and it all goes away. It does. Travis, yeah. this is where I got married. Yeah, oh, right sweet. Here. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid to fish. <laughs> Can't believe my luck. 
I couldn't believe my luck that I get to come here and fish with you guys, you know, because it's like, it's obviously been my pleasure being here with you guys and seeing how you coach the whole deal. And I've learned so much, but it's going to be pretty amazing to go back home and apply what I've learned here with you guys, man. And I really appreciate you guys showing me that. Earth has a circumference of 25,000 miles, which makes the 263 miles that separate Travis and the Sear brothers almost inconsequential. It may be time for Travis to head back to Andrews, but when you really think about it, he's already home.